Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023, WRC 23, being held in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. We've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio by Ayman Mohyeldin, who is the head of Spectrum Standardization for Nokia. Ayman, welcome to the studio. Thank you for your kind invitation. Nokia is a member of the ITU radio communications sector. Why is this conference important to Nokia? Oh, very good question. And uh, the beauty of it is that the spectrum is a livelihood of the old uh, wireless communication. And the WRC is the one deciding on those spectrum waves. So for us, it's quite important to be part of the discussion here, to look at uh, the spectrum allocation, which is we wanted to have uh, to implement it in our equipment. Uh, but most importantly, that if we look from a WRC perspective in the past years, we have seen that the WRC have been very good in allocating spectrum for mobile communication. And uh, one good example, for example, it harmonized all those spectrums. And with a small device in your pocket, you can roam all over. So coming from Germany up to here, I can use those spectrum. Thanks to those past WRC in uh, making this possible to have a roaming capability, harmonized spectrum. And uh, this is important for the whole mobile industry, the decision that will be taken at the WRC. You're quite right, WRCs are all about spectrum allocation. What spectrum areas are of interest to the equipment and infrastructure industry and how do they impact your industry? Um, we can take it from a different angle, but maybe let's start from a, uh, the angle which is quite important for the future. Uh, ITR, uh, the radio sector, recently have adopted a resolution on a discussion on a 6G IMT 2030. We have as well approved the framework recommendation, and uh, this is also setting the scenes and the roadmap for the 6G future. Importantly, in this WRC, we are also going to see some discussion about Agenda Item 10, which is we are going to discuss the future uh, studies to be done. And it's importantly uh, to have the right study bands for the future, of the use of 6G to be studied in this WRC. Let's talk a little bit about 6G. What difference will it make? There's a big difference when you go from 3G to 4G and from 4G to 5G, but uh, will 6G really make that much difference? Definitely, absolutely. It will make a big difference because you are going to have an ultra reliable uh, network with uh, ultra low latency. But importantly is that in 6G we are concentrating on sustainability and you've already mentioned that we have COP28. So with the right spectrum that can provide capacity coverage and as well pretend uh, sustainability, uh, that will be fantastic. What are some of the outcomes that your segment of the industry would like to see emerge from WRC 23? Um, it will be important, of an important of the evolution of the 5G. We have started the journey of 5G. It's be important uh, to uh, give the 5G and the evolution of the 5G new spectrums to uh, grow on it and to flourish in it. For example, the upper 6 gigahertz. So it's quite important to see a, a decision and regulatory conditions that enable uh, macrocellular deployment of 5G and this, uh, the upper 6 gigahertz is a, such a kind of a band that can offer capacity and coverage. So we are uh, looking forward to see that the upper 6 gigahertz is going to be identified in this WRC that will uh, give the, the path for the 5G evolution as well, uh, pave the way for uh, initial deployment in the 6G network. Uh, most importantly also we have to think about having study some bands for the future and having that uh, the right setup for the agenda item 10 that will paint a colorful future for 6G, which we are looking forward to see it and looking forward to see a WRC decision in that direction. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us in the studio and thank you for being here at the conference. And we look forward to catching up with you again in the not too distant future, I'm sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, then why not check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels, Spotify, SoundCloud, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.